Hello, I'm Dr. G, and today we'll be doing a blood test on an African Grey Parrot. So it's very important to do regular blood tests on your birds. Uh, we use very safe techniques nowadays. Uh, they usually recuperate quite well, so it's very important to bring your bird into an avian veterinarian to see how they're doing. So that some of the good reasons to do take a blood test on a bird are actually when you acquire a new bird, we call this a new bird exam, to get baseline values for your bird and to make sure they're as healthy on the inside as on the outside. Also for regular health checkups at your vet, they might want to monitor how they're doing because they hide their diseases so well. We'll also use it for diagnostic testing for contagious diseases, uh, internal organ function, if there's anemia, blood parasites, heavy metal intoxication, certain tumors or cancer, there's quite a few things we can see in the blood. Often owners are curious about the sex of their bird when it's not obvious, so we do DNA sexing. Sometimes it's also required before boarding with other birds. Now with proper handling techniques, I've never had to anesthetize a companion bird for routine blood testing. They usually tolerate it quite well. I usually do the blood test alone for smaller birds like canaries, finches and budgies up to about cockatiel size. Now with medium to larger birds, I will use the help of qualified personnel to safely hold the bird for me while I take the blood sample. Now I only need a few things to, to do the blood test. I'm usually going to use a very small needle, either 25 or 27 gauge needle, depending on the size of the bird, and some microtainer tubes that have lithium heparin in it. Now often before doing the blood test, I'm actually going to look at my own hand because it gives me a pretty good idea of where the blood vessels pass. It's pretty similar in the bird's foot. I prefer a bird's foot than in any other place because it's an easy area to access and they tolerate it really well. Also I can use compression if ever it bleeds or put a bandage on it. So I use the dorsal metatarsal vein. So here we have Kasuku who's wrapped up lightly in a towel and the technician is holding her. So she's tolerating this quite well even though this is not a bird that's used to being handled. So I'm going to wipe down the area with a little bit of alcohol, put a bit of compression on top of the vein that we can see there. I'll so show you slow motion. I poke through the skin right there. Sometimes it's more obvious on younger birds. Older birds or birds that are anemic, it's not quite as obvious if the skin is thickened. And the, blow, the blood is just going to flow right through the needle into my microtainer tube. So I'll show you at normal speed what it looks like. So as you see here, the bird is tolerating, tolerating this quite well. And I need about 10 to 14 drops of blood to fill up my tube, which gives me about 0.3 mLs. I just block it there while I change my tubes. Recuperate every drop. So normally I can take about 1% of the bird's body weight in grams. So let's say I have a 300 gram bird, I could take up to 3 mLs, and this is 0.3 per tube, so 0.6 mLs. So um, the bird can tolerate this uh, blood uh, very well. So you can see it here, it's better to get it between the bottom and the upper line of my tube to prevent my sample from being overly diluted. So I just cap it off and do slow inversion here to mix it well. During this time, I've lowered the bird's head and elevated the foot to help the coagulation process reduce the pressure in the foot. So it takes about 30 seconds for the blood test to be taken and another 30 seconds for it to coagulate afterwards. So it's not a very long procedure and it gives us so much information. I like to use a white gauze to check for bleeding. So when my gauze stays white, I know it's fine see where I took the blood test, barely see right there on the foot. So Kasuku has been very good today and she's doing well so she's ready to go home. See you next time Kasuku!